People are wasting money on stupid things right now. Let's look at these ideas that nobody thought would work and yet they're actually making money from. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a business newsroom for the weird and unusual. Uh, a few articles have just sort of stacked up in the last few weeks that I didn't want to talk about individually. So I decided to talk about them together. And then I told him my idea <laughs> <laughs> and he did a Google search and found even weirder stuff. So we're going to start with the weird and unusual, and then we're going to get into the Friday the 13th weird and unusual stuff the, that he likes. The Walmart, <laughs> the Walmart version. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have. Okay, so first up, <clears throat> um, tell you uh, how weird things are right now. Tables at the $440 per head restaurant in a grounded Singapore Airlines aircraft sold out in 30 minutes. That is right. Uh, you so can the, just for clarity. Yes. Read that there's a restaurant inside a grounded airplane in Singapore and they sold they sold out yeah, yeah. in 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So do we know if they like stripped out all the seats and put no. in no, if you want, you can pay $37 and sit by the crapper as usual. In economy. In economy and get your food served to you in your seat. <laughs> or you can spend $441 and sit in first class and be served your amazing airline meal because we know. Now, I imagine for $440, it's probably a pretty good meal. I would hope they've got a chef. Those, those I'm just, details are not in the article. I'm just saying for $440, or let's say me and my wife wanted to go out for a dinner, and you gave me $850, yeah. I'm going to have better food and not be in a gross airline. Um, wow. And that sold out in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Now but I, what do we know? Obviously, we are morons because it wasn't our idea and we didn't make any money off of it. But this is a matter of just like desperate times calling for desperate measures. So the airline came up with this idea and mm -hmm. people bought it. Here's a stupid one. I guess it's pronounced Qantas Airlines. Qantas. Secure, okay. So the Qantas. Australians. Yeah. The Australians. You could spend anywhere from $566 to $2,300 um, for a seven hour plane ride to land back where you started from. <laughs> They're calling it sightseeing, but I don't remember seeing very much at 36,000 feet when I have flown. So the cheap, the cheap seat was five something? Yeah, yeah. And 2,300 for first class. Yep. For seven hours on an airplane to now, land where you took off from. I have flown a lot. I have only been overseas a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I've been on a couple of seven hour flights. That's my max. That's I can't do more than seven hours yeah. at a time. Um, you couldn't pay me $2,300 to take that flight for seven hours. I'm not paying you $2,300 to take a flight for seven hours. Wow. So I don't know what the whole point of all this is or why people are dumb enough to pay for it. But um, apparently it's an idea that works. And they marketed it yeah. and people bought it. Yeah. So somebody, let's just think about the boardroom. Hey, we need to make some money. What if we did blah, blah? So we bring in a chef and we yeah. put people on and they get good food and they're in the air. And I mean, I admire the executives who came up with that idea. Now, there's another thing which Singapore is also doing. Apparently, this is all happening in Singapore and then going to other places. Okay. What they're else? doing cruises to nowhere. So you, you borrow your cruise ship and it's like a whole day of cruising around. Now, you know, a cruise ship <laughs> I can think with. You can gamble on the cruise ship. There's shows. There's buffets There's with pools. all you could eat. So that one, I could go with that one. Now, before the pandemic, the, a cruise to nowhere, from what I can gather, was a two to three day experience from certain US ports. Mm -hmm. You would board for two days. Mm -hmm. So you'd spend like one to two nights on the ship. Yeah. You wouldn't stop anywhere. You would just go out deep and come back. Okay, I can understand I can, that. I can understand, but an airplane is boring. There's nothing to do on an airplane. Okay, so this especially is during a pandemic when we're not supposed to be around each other, right? We're stuffing people Fair in. Enough. But this is a matter of executives, entrepreneurs thinking outside the box. Okay, so these are corporations. So I found uh, when we started doing some Google search on this, um, there are four Aussies. They got very creative. Four buddies got together 
and they really have fun when they party. So for $3,000, you can hire them to throw a party for you. They provide the food. Okay. They provide the snacks and they guarantee that you're going to have fun. Okay. Now, I kind of admire that one. That's like, you know, that's kind of like paying three grand for, I mean, people spend three grand on parties all the time. Right. I can kind of understand that. It's like having a party planner. Right. Except they're Aussie surfer dudes who aren't going to have little frilly napkins. We're going right. to have like Pabst Blue Ribbon and, and stuff right. all around the place. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And we guarantee that you're going to have fun because we're for fun Aussies. Now, I kind of admire that. I kind of like and that. And it's working. I'm okay with that. It's working. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now, desperate times call for desperate measures. Mm -hmm. And you can find this online if you Google crazy things that people buy. So, um, this lady in Utah um, sold a tattoo on her forehead. Mm -hmm. So, this is something that is permanent. This is not a henna tattoo that just washes off. So, the golden palace in Las Vegas, the casino, paid her $10,000 to put goldenpalace.com on her forehead. That's pretty interesting. It's there forever. Yeah. Um, depending on how long she lives, uh, that's going to be um, 25 cents a day, a penny a day. I don't know. But the Golden Palace, their marketing department is really thinking outside the box. The Golden Palace found a couple in Connecticut and paid them $25,000 to name their child Golden Palace. Now that's uh, an interesting one. That's thinking outside the box on the Golden Palace part. <laughs> <laughs> that's something. And there are many more online, uh, <laughs> some of which I cannot put on the air. So if you want to have a good time, you're a little bored, just go to crazy things that people buy online and you're going to find all kinds of wild things. Abby so, sent us when I was renting a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, friend. yeah. You can that rent a fun. friend. Yeah. You can rent a you friend. You can rent somebody to come and clean up your house after a party when you're hungover. They yes. They Gatorade and make you pancakes. All you, sorts of stuff like you that. You can rent mourners at a funeral. That's, Yep. This is for the person who was really mean and- This is for that executive who had no friends. The executive who yeah, had no I mean, friends was really mean. Yeah. And rather than have applause at the funeral, they're gonna pay people to come and cry. There you go. So anyway, uh, this is a bit funny and a bit silly, but um, it is time to start thinking outside the box. Yeah, and you know, it just proves that us, we don't know everything. <laughs> because if you said people are going to pay to board an airplane and eat airplane food for $500, I would tell you that you were stupid. Exactly. Or $2,300 uh, for first class. But you know, it just proves that stupid people are out there and will pay for anything. <laughs> Not that I'm stupid. The people that are buying it are stupid. Well, it depends on the comment section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's one video in particular, the Uber one, that we're, they're not very happy with us in. So anyway. And we're all torn up about it. Uh, I hurt my feeling so deep. <laughs> Your feeling. My feeling is hurt. So that's all we have to say today. Hopefully next week we've got some other exciting news for you. Uh, tell us down below some of the other stupid things that you have found uh, during the pandemic that people are paying for. And we will talk to you next time on the newsroom.